Hi, everybody. This is Linda. We are a well favored thing, and this is Joy Therapy. So, today I'm supposed to be doing all kinds of other things, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm doing this instead. I just needed some Joy Therapy, so there you go. So, I dove in and I just grabbed some things. And I thought, well, we'll just go through this and I can sort it out and list some and we'll go, that's where we'll start. So this one, this one is actually going to be the third of this brand that I'm listing. I just put up, let's see, I think the, um, I believe I put up Gold Tone already and then... Oh my gosh, what's the other one? Anyway, and then this one is got, this has really got this beautiful, beautiful, look at the color of those beads. This is heavy. This is Giorgio. And it is, um, if I can get that in there for you. There's our label. And it is three strands. I love the clasp on these. It's three strands and they're really heavy. So I've got a gold tone that's up. And I just, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I may have gold tone, silver tone, and this. I, I don't remember. But anyway, they're beautiful. And um, I'm going to list that one. That one's going to get listed very soon. <clears throat> pardon me it doesn't happen until of course I start filming and then you know then I get all <laughs> my throat gets all funky anyway okay this one is a beautiful brooch I already have one of this brand this is Catherine what is her name I looked at it earlier and I forgot it is Catherine it's Pepesco, possibly, France. And I already have one of these up and listed. And these are just these beautiful little enamel brooches. Very Art Deco. Very Art Deco. And there's the back. So I'm going to get that listed. But yeah, I, you know, I, that's got that bear. What is this clasp? I can't remember what that one's called. This one is, because this rolls, if I recall correctly. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. So what it does is, I think that slides out that way, and then that releases the pin. And then when the pin is in, that slides back down on top of it to hold it in place. It's very secure. Very secure. That's a nice one. So that one will get listed. This was kind of a fun little box I got into. <clears throat> I have so much that needs to be sorted. I did have, um, yeah, I've had, I, I really do, I do appreciate your comments that everyone sends. Thank you so much. I really do. Um, and I try to do the best I can to comply. <laughs> so, you know, some, there were some requests that people have or, um, things that they would rather see me do than what I'm doing, but I can't, I can't always do that. <laughs> so it just depends on what it is. But, um, I did get one comment that, um, you know, you guys are just wanting to, you know, kind of just see the really good stuff, which is great. I love going through all the good stuff. But I also have a lot of the stuff I just have to sort through. And it's just like jewelry jars. It's kind of, you get the good with the bad. It just it's kind of the way it's the nature of the beast. So, you know, sorry about the junk part that does come through, but there's going to be a little bit of it. This, um, this is a brooch. It's got this little dangling heart there. No name, no mark, but just cute. Just a cute little brooch. <clears throat> so, so yeah, it's, I had to 
I had to kind of dig for some stuff that I wanted to actually show because I have a lot of that just I have bags of just stuff I have to go through it and not not as not as much fun I'm sure I, well I know <laughs> it's just not okay so here's a test this will be a test see if anybody can guess who the brand is on this one um, just so that's always one I did get one comment where um, I just got it and I'm so sorry I forgot your name but um, they were saying that they liked trying to figure out what it was you know and they're kind of new to jewelry and reselling and all that and so they like to kind of figure it out so this one is a listener and I looked earlier I think that's what it is yeah it's marked right there I'm gonna double check so I'm not lying to y'all yeah, it's listener. If I can get it to where you guys can see it. Maybe. So this one is a good one. I like that. Um, I will, you know, and you always do want to make sure you want to check to make sure your class works. Cause I did have one that I didn't know that the class was broken. I didn't check it. I sold it. You know, they were upset and I don't blame them. So, you know, I refunded them. I told them, keep it. Don't even send it back. And, but yeah, it was kind of a bummer. But so now you just want to be real careful to check, make sure those all work. And I may set this aside because I do have a lot of listeners. So if I can find earrings that go with this or match it to something, then that, that'll work. So I'll probably set that one aside for a little bit of time. This was an interesting one. This is a pin. It's a brooch, but it's made to look like a bolo tie, but it is a brooch. So I guess you could pin that at your collar and have your bolo tie. Um, this, I don't know. Let's give it a, no, it's not. It's just faux, not semi-precious, not marked, but cute. It is really cute. It's a little two-tone. Yeah, it's got gold tone, silver tone, so it's got, you know, mixed metals. So that needs to get listed. I have a lot that needs to get listed. I'm kind of playing around with just some different ideas, things to do with the web, with the uh, eBay store. Um, yeah, I'm tossing around a few ideas. So... Put down in the chat if you if you want to. You know, if you, if I tell you what you know, if you think it's a good idea, then let me know. Um, one of the things that I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to start running. I think some 99 cent auctions on there just because I have so much jewelry that I want to just start just kind of mo moving some of it out for you guys. And you know, and that gives you an opportunity if you're watching and you're one of um, my subscribers which thank you if you are. Um, I've gone up to like 290, which I really appreciate you. Um, <clears throat> and not a lot of traffic on my eBay store at this point in time. So, you know, it's kind of putting it out there for you guys. If you, you know, if you're interested in picking some of this up and then I'll do discounted shipping if you buy more than one item and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, because there's a lot here to move. So I'm thinking about doing that. So this one is really pretty. I just found this one today. Is I, I did take these out of bags because people have commented that the sound of the bags is, you know, bothersome and I, I get that. So I did take them out and kind of peeked at some of them. And this one's Mark 925. So I was thrilled about that. It's a beautiful piece. Um, that's Mark 925 right there. I will test it and I will test the top as well. But it's gorgeous look at that it's really beautiful so isn't that nice i don't know yeah, i don't know what that stone is it's not registering high but i don't know it's not really registering as if it's anything unless this is one of those things it's marked 925 and it's not we'll see i will test it there's that one. <clears throat> Quite a little variety here. It's kind of a funny day because 
there was one thing that I want to do. Uh, it's kind of more of a, you know, an inf it's definitely an informational video that I thought of today that I want to do for you guys. But to do it, I would have to locate some jewelry that I just recently had my hands on. Just, just had it. <laughs> I'm trying to get organized. That's why I'm sorting all of this because I'm trying to get it organized in such a way that I know where everything is and I can go find it if I need it. And there was one piece of jewelry that I just had my hands on it. And I know what group of jewelry I put it with and I needed it to show you an example of what I was trying to do. And I can't find it. I don't know where I put it all. It's a very safe place apparently can't tell you where it is so <laughs> oh god so anyway yeah the moral of the story I do have a couple ideas on some educational stuff that I you know want to do but it's just gonna have to wait okay these are just marked Japan and so yeah definitely definitely got some vintage Japan but they're really pretty look at those and I am setting those aside, trying to match them up, but you know, and I will get there. I will get to the point where I will have this all matched up and sorted up. But so it's the other stuff that I'll be listing for the 99 cents. If it's something that I know is a one-off and I'm not going to be able to match anything to it, or I don't think I have anything that goes with it, you know, I'm just going to start blowing that stuff out. So this is, and someone also made this, um, Let's see if I can do it. They made this, um, not request, but an idea that I could do, which was to get a neck stand for some of these, which I think, yeah, this is a really good idea if I can get it on camera. We'll see. I don't know if I can or not. But this, it does show them pretty well. This is really pretty. This, I, I actually expected to see this marked, you know, like, Trafari or listener or something because it's just it's really really pretty so it's got the faux pearls they do have spacers and then the it's got the same stuff here this is marked Japan and it's just lovely so if I could find a pair of earrings that have got any kind of that brushed silver that are marked Japan as well they would match up so there's that. But yeah, this suggestion. And you know, I'm working on lots of different things and ideas. So. Okay. I actually took a little break. So I'm back. You guys wouldn't know that though. So, okay. This is. This is a little brooch it is hand painted I looked at it it is a courting couple hand painted um, it has that green what's it called uh, I always want to say verdigue but I don't think that's how it's pronounced um, it needs to be cleaned so I'm gonna see if I can get that cleaned up that which is too bad when I when I see that I don't like seeing that Okay, and this is this tiny little pin. It's not big. Not big at all. And I'm going to look for a mark. It's well made. I can tell you that. But I don't... I don't see a mark. you know it's funny because it doesn't react to a magnet and I'm going to show you guys something um, let me see if I can find find what I'm looking for here sorry about the delay but it's kind of one of those, kind of one of those things, maybe. Oh boy. Now, I could 
just swore that I, and I thought I even tested it, but this one surprised me. I swear that says 14K on it. Um, I picked this one up. I picked the, that up for $5 at a thrift store. And it has a mark. It's a little smudged right here, but it says something and it says 14K. I swear it does. And I do believe I tested this. And it says, the package says positive 14 carats. So. telling me that I did test it and it did test positive for 14 karat gold. That thing is by my scale. Oh. Now the moral of the story here is um, it's ounces where are we in grams? It's 8.28 grams. So the moral of the story is, is don't assume that everything gold tone is not gold because it could be gold. And um, yeah, I purchased this because I liked it. And then I saw that mark on it. And I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't even know what gold is today, but let me check. Okay, I got pretty sidetracked on that. <laughs> I didn't get an answer to that question just yet, but I'm working on it. Um, but I did read my comments, and um, it looks like I've been getting uh, the Liz Claiborne signature mixed up with uh, Lauren Conrad. So anyway, I looked that up, but thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. You guys, um, you guys help me out a lot. <laughs> it's like... I know some stuff, but I certainly don't know everything. So yeah, I love any help you can give me. So thank you. I'm going to research that a little bit because I was like, whoa, I've been getting that wrong for a long time. Okay. So this bracelet here, this is unusual. And I picked this up because <laughs> I just couldn't believe how different it was. Look at that. These flowers and they've got the, these facet cut stones and the thing that I just noticed this is prong set here with all of these prongs and on the other side it's just got a couple <laughs> that's kind of interesting and then it has all these beautiful stones and I think everybody's here as near as I can tell but I did know I knew when I when I purchased it I saw that it used to have a safety clasp which is now gone um, these overlap just a little bit when it closes they like to overlap they don't meet perfectly there but I don't have a I don't have a maker I have absolutely no idea who made this if anyone knows let me know because I'm really interested but it's just um, God what a, what a piece I mean that thing is just that's amazing that's a night out on the town for sure at that yeah and I mean for me it would be okay that it doesn't match up perfect um, my safety chain would keep it on and I would have a gap here anyway and I have a pretty small wrist so I think most people would be fine with that so I do have to repair it and research it but if anyone knows who the maker is on that one let me know because it is absolutely gorgeous yeah and it's not gonna go anywhere until I know what it's about it goes in the research bin so many bins <laughs> that I obviously don't have organized or I would be giving you a little tutorial on something else today because oh my gosh anyway it'll happen I'm not going to tell you what the subject is until I do it so okay found these I see there's some missing stones so this is to go into the repair bin uh, no mark on those what's next oh, okay yeah I was talking about this little goodie here saying, you know, really take a good look 
moral of the story is that I believe that that one over there is 14 karat gold. And so take a good look, make sure that, make sure you're not letting some gold get away from you. Um, I, uh, I mean, I don't think so on this one because the stones are glued in, nothing's prong set. It's just, you know, it's just a really, it's just a really good quality gold tone. Um, but the point is, is just, you know, make sure, just check. If you don't want to let those buy, obviously if somebody's going to make something in gold, they're going to prong set the stones and they're probably not going to be CZs. So, but, um, okay. And then we have this silver chain and this one is marked 925 Italy. It actually had, was in with a little card that said that. So that's why I knew that. And I am going to test it. Let's see if I can find it. I took everything out of bags here, but yeah, it was marked 925. So I will give that a, another test and verify it just so I know for sure. So I don't know when I tested that one. Okay, and then there's this pretty little brooch. Lots of pretty little brooches today. I think that's what I wanted. I just wanted some blingy jewelry therapy. <laughs> raining and drizzling here we need the rain we need the rain so it's good to see but my gosh it's just kind of gloomy out and wet so we're in we're all in the house today so there's that one there's no mark on that they are these are prong set Oh, I should get my black light out. That's one thing I've seen a lot of people doing lately is black lighting these stones. I should do that to see if I get any, any difference on anything. Okay. What's next? Let's pick this up. These little fish, this is a bracelet and these little fish all feel like they are stone. Do a test. Yes, they are. Definitely. Let's go. So those guys are all semi-precious. And now I'm going to take a look and see if it says, uh, I think I might see a mark on there. Nope. I was imagining that. That one's not a mark anyway. Oh, but there is one right there. Okay. Yeah, there's a 925 mark on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's part of my nails. I should have done them. They're due again. God, they need to be done so often. Oh, I don't think it's going to show for y'all, but it's right there. It's there. Anyway, so that needs to be tested, but that's fun. That's fun, all those little fish. And so are her. Okay, that one needs a bag and it needs to go into the test pile. I actually kind of dug for some prettier things. Because like I said, you know, I know you guys don't always want to go through bags of stuff. Like this is a bag here. That's just a bag of bits and pieces. And I mean, there's lots of bits and pieces in there. So I'll warn you guys. <laughs> this might be the next one, but... Yeah. It'd be nice. It'd be fun. I mean, I, I like picking through this stuff, personally. I do. And I don't even remember what this bag was from, but I grabbed that one first, and then I thought, no, I remembered what, you know, somebody had said. But, you know, they kind of like, they just don't want to see the junk, and I, I, you know, I don't mind going through it, but... So this one, I thought I'd pick one that has some pretty good stuff. Um, for those of you who enjoy the the non-junk. <laughs> this I love. This is a pin. It's got a clasp on it on the back that tells me that it is older because it's just that little C clip. Um, I don't know any of these beads. I'm not sure what they are, but boy, I do like it. I'm not sure what that is, but I do like it. I'm going to research that one a little bit, I think. I like it or put it in my Dr. Lori pile. 
because I do have a Dr. Lori pile. And I think I'm about ready to do the whole Dr. Lori thing. So, there you have it. Okay, um, this is a bracelet with a little butterfly. It looks a lot like my other butterfly. And I'm not seeing, but let me take a closer look. Well, first, I guess I could use the magnet. And there we go. Nope, I'm not seeing anything, but that doesn't mean anything. So that one's going to get tested. I'm not seeing a mark on there, but that doesn't always mean that sometimes they actually will wear off if they've been worn a lot. However, this doesn't look like it's worn. I don't think this one is worn off. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm looking. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. But that doesn't mean it's not there. So there you have it. Okay, there's that one. All right, now I have these. And these are clip. And they are marked on the back. They are Swabata. Nice. Those are Swabata. And I had a brooch out here. That, there we go. This is not marked Swabata, but it looks a lot like a Swabata piece. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm not sure. Which is probably why I put them in the same bag, just because they look similar, but... I have found brooches like this that are marked Swabada. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I think I really do need to do a Dr. Lori thing. So she does. Um, you can take classes with her, which I've done one, which is great. You can sign up for blocks of time. So I'm thinking that I want to do a 30 minute with her and just lay out a bunch of jewelry and then she'll go through it and tell you what it is and the value and where's a good place to sell it. Um, she's just got a very, um, well, her depth of knowledge is incredible. Um, she's just very knowledgeable and got such an amazing, amazing um, education. And she's, you know, you can watch her videos for nothing. I mean, she's sharing it for nothing. And um, she's just a natural teacher. And I like people that are like that. I like her energy. Um, it's, her energy is great. So anyway, I think it's time we do a 30-minute video with her. Maybe I'll see if she'll let me record it. That would be great. Um, and you guys could see, see Dr. Lori in action if you don't know who she is. So here you go. Anyway, so there's that. Um, I'm probably getting close to wrapping up of this video. I've turned it off a few times, but I think we probably are just about there. So I think I might do another one behind it though. We'll see. I'm kind of in the mood. So there's a pretty little pair of earrings. Um, they're just these little silver tone, and then these look like they're like, they look like they're mother of pearl squares. <laughs> so, I don't think those aren't silver, but boy, those are cute. So maybe I'll end on those for this video. And I'll thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, do all the important things below that, you know, we all ask you to do. It does matter. Um... <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. I'll see you on the next one.